Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Talking Tricks here with me, Bryce, Jason, and Frank. We're going to be talking a little bit about this clip that was recently posted mm -hmm. uh, by young Alex Kerwood. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a little bit of discussion uh, in the comments for those of you who have seen the video and read said comments. And we kind of wanted to just break down what's going on here to give a better explanation to kind of clear up uh, the confusion. And we're not just doing this uh, to be pedantic and to satisfy those theory lovers out there. We really do want to help those people who are learning tricks or, you know, refining their tricks, figure out more what makes the individual tricks tick, what makes them them, so that they can better execute those tricks. And also so that when they want to use both different types of tricks that we're going to be describing today, because there are, this trick is not a touchdown rise, as we will be talking about. It is a different trick. Mm -hmm. And knowing both tricks will give you access to much more uh, interesting combos. You'll have access to a larger combo variety than you would have if you only knew one and if you, you know, thought both of them were the same trick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to be clear, this is not like attacking Alex Kerwood or anything like that. Like, we just want to look at his clip, uh, see what's going on, and describe what's going on with, with our trick theory format, you know. It it, yeah. No matter what you call a rose, right? It's just mm -hmm. as sweet. This is obviously dope, just looking at it. It's mm -hmm. really cool to look at. And it is also very near a palindrome uh, combo. It's, I, uh, I would say it's a palindrome. Bryce is being so pedantic right now. I it's, am going to do it, but it is. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we're, we're being close. We're, it's, yeah, it's almost palindrome. Um, mm. So, yeah, again, like, this is all props to Gerwood, because this is, like, a really cool... This really cool combo, really cool clip, and we're actually really grateful for the opportunity because it allows us like the opportunity to explain what's actually happening here. Because if you read some of the comments, a lot of people really aren't sure on what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we have a pretty clear answer for what this is, mm -hmm. and we can describe it using our language. And this is a good example of you know some validation here. So. Yeah, but we're beating around the bush. So what actually is he doing? So he's doing reverse out for the first one. That one is true, but the second one is not a touchdown rise because he's not swinging a, like backwards like a front swing does. He's swinging kind of like a gainer, and then yep. this and it, it, in fact, uh, Frank, before you go on, if he had done a touchdown rise from using the exact same transition, vanish, mm -hmm. no other steps in between or anything he would be going forward still. He would have preserved his direction of momentum, and then this would very obviously not be a palindrome combo. Yeah, it's you could. Uh, he landed in Mega from his reverse owl, so you can kind of imagine, like, you know Alex Ahmedvar, uh, whenever he does his Mega landings into TDR, you could imagine that's what it would look like. And so he'd be traveling forward, um, and he doesn't do that. He travels backwards, and... To, he also swings his left leg backwards in order to do that. So this is what us in Talking Tricks would call a caner. Uh, and some the uninitiated might be thinking, like, what the hell is a caner? Uh, a caner is a gainer off the other leg. And the reason why it's called that is because it's a croc type of gainer, a caner. So, right, croc without the twist. This would be like a left leg swing through gainer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And to be clear, a lot of people do this, even when they're like intending to do TDR. And I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes from. Yes. And you, you can refer back to our video, your TDR uh, is a master scoot. Mm -hmm. What we yeah, meant to which, say is your TDR is a caner. But we, yeah. Yeah. at <laughs> that point in time, we actually hadn't, we, even, yeah, we, we, we hadn't, hadn't made that distinction yet. So, mm -hmm. but this is like, you know, progress even further in that regard. Exactly. So, but yes, we do talk about this. This isn't this isn't unprecedented. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very common point of confusion, and like you could see that in the comments too. Like, uh, I think even uh, like towels is like, oh, this is kind of like sketch down rise, and sketch down rise was kind of seen as like, okay, you start out like a rise, you do this little twisty thing, and you end up doing basically a val a swing Valdez, or maybe not a swing, but you know. Yeah, that... all of this heavy air quotes over all of this because nobody knew what any of these words meant specifically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was and... all about. It all kind of feels a little bit like the vibes are kind of like that with your hands waving around in the air. Yeah. And we've actually started. We've actually like been scrolling through the comments, and Frank, you've said it. Let's talk really quick about Valdez too, because mm -hmm. Valdez is a very specific trick. Valdez is essentially just like either left or right touchdown. 
backflip. Mm -hmm. And both both Valdez and backflip are unified takeoff tricks. And so when we see comments like this is similar to Valdez, they are right. The vibes are Valdez Valdezian, Valdezian. as <laughs> as, as Hal said, which is, is funny. Um yeah. they're there, but it fundamentally cannot be a Valdez because it is a sequential takeoff or ultimately a single leg takeoff, which yeah. backflip and uh, Valdez both are not, right? Mm -hmm. What are the single leg takeoffs that go backward? They're Gainer and Croc or Kaner. So mm -hmm. like ultimately that this can't be Valdez and like and this, by the way, by giving each one of these names, it eliminates the ambiguity of like swing Valdez. Well, which one do you mean? Because you could obviously do either of these swings. Yeah, and right. in previous mainstream, everybody would have just said, ah, it's just, you know, both of them are Valdez's. But and now I right. have to tell you which leg you're swinging with. Well, that is incorporated now into the idea of base tricks in base trick terminology. Yeah. And, and I can already see the comments. I know we're about to get a lot of pushback on that specific idea because people are going to be like, so you're telling me the first triple cork was not done from Valdez? And yeah, it wasn't. So, um, was Swing through touchdown gainer? Yeah. But or, to, you don't even have to say swing through touchdown. But, to be fair, I'm actually I'm actually not opposed to calling this something like gainer Valdez or Kaner Valdez. Uh, like, I don't really think that's too much of a problem because it insinuates a one-handed touchdown. So I, it, I, I have a problem. Well, I mean, unless we're just going to replace the name for left touchdown, left touchdown with Valdez everywhere, which I mean, it's that's possible. fair. So that's but. fair. I guess I, I meant more so for like a backflip uh, kind of picture, but it does have the additional problem. I will concede that like just straight up Valdez means unified, which kind of throws a wrench into my like, oh, if it's we Gainer already Valdez, do that for backflip. We already do that for backflip yeah. and for gainer and for gainer. Yeah. These things are all different based entirely on which feet are on the ground by the time of takeoff. And yeah. we normally don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So. But we're, we're honestly, we're getting into really nerdy shit. I honestly don't think it's the end of the world. Yeah. If you we've, say we've, I like... think we've hit the important <laughs> topics here. Anybody else want to say anything before we round this video out? Yes. Uh, uh, we need to talk about sketch down rise. Uh, ah, cause, okay. cause we didn't go, didn't take a deep dive, dive into that, but uh, this is something me, Jason, and Bryce have talked a lot about, but the idea of having tricks named off of, uh, like, kind of bad connotations, like, oh, yeah, being, having derogatory names, insulting mm -hmm. names. Yeah. It implies the trick itself is bad, mm -hmm. uh, and, like, it can't be done well, and, you mm -hmm. know, it shouldn't be done. Like, overcheating, for instance, implies it's a, it's it's a, a Yeah, it's a positive feedback loop, but for like a negative association and you just don't want to do it mm -hmm. um or it implies that it shouldn't be done um I, but let's talk about really quick i what people are calling sketch on rise i think is essentially an overstepped cheat setup in toucaner mm -hmm. so like sketch on rise as a name i agree is very bad is what i would probably call this because that's like in essence what is happening it's the closest mainstream analog, but I, like I said, or I, I'm in full agreement that it's a, mm -hmm. a terrible name for that. Like, and, and derogatory names shouldn't be used, should be replaced with, like, positively associated names or neutral names that mm -hmm. encourage, you know, people doing them. It, well, and that's the main thing, is that this isn't just, it's not a throwaway trick, it's a trick that you can really do and potentially make look good. Yep. Like, okay, yeah. maybe this, in the past. This combo know. isn't possible without this trick, and there are other interesting combos that you can't do without this trick. Yeah. If he wanted to vanish and do a, a TDR, he would have to preserve his dom. Mm -hmm. It's having access to this trick that allows him to do this palindrome mm -hmm. and use vanish here. Right. Exactly. And, and there's, like, and this isn't just a dumb trick either like this could technically be very like the caner could be variated you could add like a twist into it mm -hmm. you could add a twist before it you know touchdown crocs True. you know like there's there's so much available here mm -hmm. and just like calling it sketch on rise co-opting it into another existing trick mm -hmm. just like completely eliminates that mm -hmm. so yeah basically this is a trick touchdown caner and people should be doing more of them because yeah. they're cool as shit i agree yeah exactly so that's the thesis of our video uh hope you guys enjoyed if you guys don't want to add anything i think we could end off here yep yep that's it so yeah thank you guys for watching let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and uh yeah do some more caners so catch you guys later